system change number what is that within the oracle database as and when events keep occurring an event could be any statement that is getting executed it could be a select statement it could be a dml statement it could be a ddl statement it could be transaction statements like commit whenever any such statement is executed the current timestamp is converted into a system change number and this system change number is what is used to do a lot many things within the database number one when instance recovery has to occur a commit that has been written with the system change number will be associated with the transaction and all the dmls that are part of the same transaction will have to be processed so at the time of instance recovery it has the information about the transaction which has got committed and now it knows which are all the statements which were part of the transaction and it can roll forward the same on the other hand if there are entries in the read log which have an scn but there is no corresponding commit then those changes would have to be rolled back from the data file blocks if db writer has already written it to so to take care of instance recovery scn comes into play at the time of backup and recovery when you need to recover a database scn comes into play and thirdly to provide for read consistency which is when a statement is fired what data should it show to the user is based upon system change numbers system change number is just the timestamp as of a point in time inside the database converted into an scn number please note scn is always incrementing within the database which means you will never get an scn 100 followed by an scn 99 because it is not incrementing because time is always incrementing scn is always incrementing scn is a very very important value that is used by the database to take care of commit processing to take care of read consistency to take care of instance recovery to take care of checkpointing all of these use system change numbers <laughs>